G'day everyone, Adam here from Benito. Just gonna give you a walkthrough of the very last boat for 2023. Huge thanks to Brett on allowing us to build his boat. This one is, uh, may look simple, but very customized to Brett's liking. Brett's gonna do a lot of the fit out himself when he gets, when he gets at home. But um, Brett, a bit of a story about Brett. Brett um, found out about the 620 before it even started making it and uh, placed an order as soon as he heard about it. So it's very cool to um, be, have built his boat. And he's got to see the boat from plug stage right through to, um, yeah, his very boat. So thank you, Brett, for allowing us to do that. It's been a very cool process. And I um, hope you enjoy your boat for many, many years. Um, if you don't know much about 6.20, it's 6.2 meters from the, from the transom with the engine bolts to the bow. Got big transom steps on the back, doesn't include the transom steps. So uh, it is actually a little bit longer than 6.2 when you include the transom steps. But the hull is awesome. You got a 2.4 meter beam, 22 and a half degree dead rise at the transom and a nice deep V at the front. It's super dry. You can see the flare in the bow there. It's got a lot of flare, good shape. Has great lines. It's classic and timeless. Uh, set up for single or twins, recommended. Minimum of 200, uh, but you can go up to 300. This one's rated for 300. This is an XT hull. So Brett's opted to get the XT hull upgrade. So if one day Brett wants to whack a 300 on their back, he'll be more than able to do so. But these offer great fuel economy, great top speed, great all-round motor, the 200 Yamaha. We've done a couple now, the Suzuki and Mercury. Uh, you can't go wrong with any of the options. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen transom steps, these are massive. We make these ourselves. Um, any of the fiberglass components you see, we make in-house down here at the factory on the Gold Coast. Uh, we use all Australian suppliers as well. So Lenko trim tabs down the back. These are all th mounted through the transom steps. So nice and neat and tidy. Down the back in here, we've got the fuel filler. So 380 litre tank fitter on this one. So you can't, minimum standard tank is 190, but your two flame proof breathers in the back there. Uh, putting the deck wash fitting in the, in the back here as well now. High drive hydraulic steering. Ski hooks in the back. Uh, recess cleats. Uh, on this boat, with Brett Sars uh, supplied us some um, exploding fish rod holders. So we've got six. On this particular boat, gunnels all reinforced uh, for electric reels. So a heap of extra work going in there um, to reinforce gunnels. Decks all non-skidded beautifully. Nice thick black gunnel rubber. It looks really tough and mean, as you'll see. Uh, up in the bow, on the uh, three-ton Alziali trailer, we fitted a boat catch. Drain here for your anchor well, it's standard. Uh, three-ton Alziali trailer, drive on, drive off, Alco electric, actuated brakes. We've installed a um, bow spout that Brett supplied for us. Up in the front here, we have got um, anchor well, all reinforced rigging tube there for your electric and your anchor well. Uh, electric motor mount there, so big anchor winch. This is the first 620 without a cast platform. So look how much space you've got in the bow. And what you'll notice is the deck gets wider as it comes around to the bow and it follows the line of the inside of the hull. So when you're standing and casting in the front, you get, you're standing up vertical, you're not leaning in over the side, um, feels nice and safe, and also gives you tons of space to walk. You'll see how wide it is. So you walk all the way around the boat on the deck. <sighs> see a, sta a con 620 console, comes standard with the windscreen and the grab rail. A couple of different things we've done on this one. Uh, we've fitted the cup holders, and we've made a custom door for Brett so that uh, he can keep all his batteries and everything hidden away. Uh, you've got bait board and other bits and pieces in here, but you'll notice we've got a couple of big pads in there for all his electronics. I'm um, opted to not have the shelf in the center on this one. We've reinforced the floor as well. We've added even more um, to the floor so that uh, you've got plenty of uh, strength there for the five or six lithium batteries or with all the battery setup that Brett's going to have. Another latch on the back here opens the whole thing up. But nice and neat and tidy. Keeps all your electronics nice and dry. Uh, binnacle. Uh, this is actually keyless start, this outboard. So it's just got your safety switch, hydraulic steering, cup holders, grab rail. Great to hold on to. You can fit twin 12-inch screens in here. She did on the first boat. Or you can have single 16. But... What you'll notice is coming down the side, you've got more room than a 560. It's actually wider between the side of the console and the deck. 
than a 560. And look at the amount of space we've got up here in the front. Brett's opted not to have a storage under the floor in the front, but you can have a uh, nice kill tank up in the bow here with the flush hatch on the floor. But tons of space. You can sleep in here, no problem. Put all your eskies up here. Of course, non skidded floor. Side pockets, all fully fiberglassed on like we do with the decks. Very simple boat. And again, down the back, Brett's opted to not have a kill tank in the rear under the floor. So those kind of compartments are foam filled. Um, but if you if you don't have the, uh, you can have the kill tank under the floor in the back. Um, Bayport is removable, so it's removed for transport. But um, Brett's opted to not have a window. He just wants a nice hidden away bait tank, which is understandable. Not everyone likes the window, but um, personal preference. We can do it without the window if you don't want the window. Down the back, nice big battery tray storage. So you can fit a ton of batteries in here at all. Just one battery on each side and then you've got storage in there for safety gear or fishing tackle, which is awesome. Down the back, nice big bilge area. Easy to get at. Same on the other side. So if you want a quick more look, one more quick look at the boat. It's come up awesome. Thank you, Brett, for allowing us to build your boat. I can't wait to see all the photos of it all finished off and rigged up. I'll just jump outside quickly. Thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in a Benito, give me a call 0426 260 We do five meters, 5.6s, 6.2s, and 6.6 .6 meter boats. Uh, you'll be hard pressed to find a better value boat that's set up for offshore fishing. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and um, we'll see you out on the water.